All right, a lot of you have been asking me what I think about the Roe versus Wade decision being overturned by the Supreme Court. And, uh, you know, are you going to make a video on it and everything else? Well, here's my video on it. Um, I've never preached on the subject of abortion because to me it's just kind of a no-brainer. It's a common sense thing if you're a Bible-believing uh, Christian. Uh, there's no possible justification for killing the life of a baby. I don't care, incest, rape, whatever. You don't kill the baby, okay? Put up the baby for adoption or whatever else. Kill the guy that did the incest or the rape. Um, there's no justification. There never has been any justification for this thing of abortion. Um, the only quote-unquote good thing that comes from abortion, and I say this somewhat in jest, is that uh, the sick mothers that do it to their little baby, they're not fit to be mothers, so, you know, they don't deserve to have a child. And um, so it messes up your system like crazy, too, the whole thing of abortion. So um, that's what I'll say about that. Now, what do I think the real agenda is behind this whole thing? I mean, why all of a sudden America's falling apart? Uh, we have a joke in the White House and, you know, I mean, we're the laughing stock of the world right now and everything else. Uh, and all of a sudden, oh, we have to overturn abortion. What's going on? Well, obviously, if you know anything at all, you're realizing, okay, yeah, there's something weird going on here. Um, what's going on is it's called divide and conquer. <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, that's what's going on. This isn't some great move of God or whatever else. I'll show you why I can prove that. Uh, it's not some great move of the Lord. We're not seeing revival coming to America and oh, praise hallelujah and all this stuff. <laughs> No, it's called divide and conquer. So now you'll have the states that are liberal, like the state where I'm at, Maine. Janet Mills, the governor, has already come out and said, you know, we will not allow abortion to be illegal here in the state of Maine. Well, it'll be perfectly legal here. You can kill your baby here. Um, and then they'll have conservative states where you can't have an abortion. So then the liberals will move to the liberal states or go to the liberal states for their abortions and the the ones that live in the you know conservative states and they'll have to leave and they can complain about their country and and you can see the division happening between the left and the right and all this stuff that's all that they want that's what's going on here okay and let me show you some proof on that I'll show you that the uh certain certain churches behind this whole thing i can promise you let's look at the nine justices of the supreme court their uh, religious affiliations, shall we say, and I will show the proof of this. John G. Roberts, Jr., Roman Catholic. Clarence Thomas, raised Roman Catholic. But, you know, once a Catholic, always a Catholic, in my opinion, unless you truly get born again and you leave the whole system. Um, Stephen G. Breyer, well, he's Jewish. You say, well, see, he's not a Catholic. We'll get back to that. Um, Samuel A. Alito, Jr., Roman Catholic. Sonia Sotomayor, Roman Catholic, raised Roman Catholic. Again, you know, she might not be going to a Catholic church, but she was raised in that system. All right. Um, Elena Kagan, Jewish. And we'll get back to her in just a minute. Um, Neil M. Gorsuch, raised Catholic, Jesuit educated at Georgetown. Now he's an Episcopalian. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Still a Catholic. Number eight, you have Brett M. Cavanaugh. He's a Roman Catholic Jesuit, you know, educated by the Jesuits. And then you have Amy Coney Barrett, devout Roman Catholic. You say, well, oh boy, that doesn't look so good. That's seven out of nine. Seven out of nine Supreme Court justices are papists. Uh, yeah, but there's one problem though. The two uh, Jews there, uh, Stephen G. Breyer and Alina Kagan, both were awarded by Fordham University. The Jesuits gave them an award, the same award for both of them. Now, if I didn't know any better, I would say that's a pretty bad thing. A country that was founded by white separatists and Protestants and uh, Bible believers, now all of a sudden we have a Supreme Court that's 100% controlled by the Catholic Church. Huh. I wonder if they're going to start passing more laws that are going to be bad for Bible-believing Christians. Huh. You say, well, but, 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 but banning abortion was a good thing. It was a good thing. I've been praising the Lord about that. We're all praising the Lord at my Baptist church because of the wonderful Christian Donald Trump that we had in there, the Jesuit, you know, 
guy and trained by Jesuits at Fordham and and but he was a great president and now we have the, these Catholics in the Supreme Court and they got rid of abortion um people are so foolish uh, what they're trying to do is the move of the Antichrist system is going to be the merger of quote-unquote Bible believing Christians with Roman Catholics and the draw is going to be very irresistible I will promise you that be it race war or war of conservatives versus liberals the Catholics will come out pro-gun they're going to you know they already did this anti-abortion thing and whatever else and it's a oh brother Brian we have to join with us we have to praise the Lord for these wonderful things and whatever um, okay but if you understand Bible believing or Bible prophecy for the end times you'll know that the Roman Catholic Church controls the kings controls the politicians they commit fornication with her with mystery Babylon so we should see that and we should say hmm yeah as a Bible believer I'm not going to join with the Catholics well, let's have, there's a pro-life rally in town here put on by the local Catholic Church. Well, I'm pro-life, so I guess we'll just go be part of it. Uh-uh, no. Come out from among them and be ye separate and touch not the unclean thing, is what the Lord commands us. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. We're supposed to get away from the Roman Catholic Church. But, oh, they've done a great thing here. And, and I, I will promise you, I will promise you that there are false brethren out there that right now are praising these Supreme Court justices and God has raised them up and everything else. We're going to have to go against the flow, brethren. I mean, we always have, but, you know, that has been some freedom there here in America and things and other countries too. But the Lord's going to make it so hard for us to uh, get along with anybody. <laughs> um, but you already know this stuff if you're a Bible believer. I'm not telling you anything new. But um, it's going to get bad. And all these different people are coming out and, oh, you know, the Supreme Court and all this stuff. They're Catholics. 100% in the, in the back pocket of the Vatican. 100% all of them, including the two Jews. So that's my opinion. Sorry I can't give you a, a more happy news than that, so to speak. Uh, I'd like to be able to say, oh yeah, we actually have some born-again Christians in the Supreme Court. <laughs> And uh, they're doing great things and great work and praise the Lord for them and whatever else. That's not the case, brethren. That's not the case. The case is that they're all Catholics. They're all being controlled. And they're going to draw you in. Unless you're a Bible believer and you say, I don't care what the Catholics do. I'm not going to take part in it. It's not happening. Um, I pray that you take the right stand. And don't fall for this great con game that they're doing. It's going to be it. Thank you for watching.